Welcome to the next episode of YouTube, where we did have some wind damage on the fence due to a couple of days of fairly intense winds, and we also did vaccinations this week. Um, first with the wind, uh, blew a tree down onto the interior fence uh, up on the top of the exhibit pack, and uh, broke the top rail, so it really was a kind of a security risk there. Uh, we were able to take a ladder in, cut the tree off. We did have to lock off Aiden and Denali when we cut the tree. They were very curious about it, so uh, we have conditioned them from the time they were pups to deal with chainsaws, and unfortunately that means that they're not afraid of them. So just for their own safety, we lock them off while we're um, cutting the tree, and then once the tree is down, they are able to come back out. Obviously the ladder is something of a curiosity for them, a little bit of a fear avoidance there from Aiden. But the branches themselves are good stimuli. They uh, will climb in them and actually use the branches to scratch their hair as they start shedding here. So we'll find a lot of, of wolf hair inside that pile of branches. When the fall working for wolves crew um, is here, we'll likely haul those out of the pen and uh, burn those up to reduce the fire risk. But um, trees are a natural part of a wolf exhibit, especially one like ours that has such um, a, a large amount of natural vegetation. And it is something that we are consistently um, checking. So anytime there's a strong wind, we'll do an enclosure check and be able to monitor it. And you'll see them checking out the exhibit there. Then we went, moved on the next day to vaccinations. Uh, Aiden and Denali were first. Um, they both get a rabies and a parvo vaccination. Aiden's a little bit tougher because he submits when we do the vaccinations and that makes it a little bit harder to inject. Denali is pretty easy to inject, although it's a subcutaneous injection. That means you pull up the hide in the back of their neck and you make a little tent and inject right underneath the skin. And uh, uh, Denali's second shot went much better than his first there. Uh, but both uh, Wolves are vaccinated, uh, Grizzly was vaccinated, Shannon and Malik were actually vaccinated during the medical exam, so they didn't really need a, a dose while they were up. We, did, we took care of that while they were under uh, chemical immobilization. Um, in retirement, they're doing real good in Malik's tooth. Um, obviously, that area of infection is now gone. with that tooth gone. And uh, so his cheek is healing up. He's eating very well. Um, here he's doing a face rub. He just finished eating. And face rub is a pretty common thing to kind of wipe blood off. And he uses a small tree to do that. You will see the patches that we're uh, testing. We tested his blood for, again, low thyroid. And you'll see they're fairly visible there as he starts to shed. He's got a couple of patches where he's lost some hair and that's something that we're kind of uh, waiting for the test results to see what might have caused that uh, hair loss there but we are seeing a flies um, starting to return to the exhibit for the summer so we'll be uh, continuing the fly ointment treatment for everybody not the most favorite thing for wolves so uh, the smell of the fly ointment tends to make them want to retreat from it so uh, but basically the wolf care staff is spending a fair amount of time grooming trying to get rid of some of this undercoat Here's Grizzer getting a fair amount of undercoat brushed out. The sooner we can get that undercoat out, the better they'll feel in warmer temperatures. So that's a daily occurrence for us, and the wolves are all very conditioned to, to be groomed by the wolf care staff so that they can uh, maintain a good, good cool uh, condition. And then the howling. Um, as usual, um, communications between Grizzer and Shadow, and I'll just uh, allow you to end up and uh, listen to the howling. Have a nice day.